Europe. One of Scandinavia's most popular rock bands, now live on tour. Their 1988 hit Superstitious is still a fan favorite today. The band has sold more than 20 million albums across Europe over the last three decades. The musicians say they have a simple recipe for success, one that works every time. I think Europe has a very original sound. Uh, great songs, great melodies, great looking guys. <laughs> no, but I think that, that's the key to success. It's uh, a combination of hard work, great songs, and you know, you, you gotta be willing to do it for a long time and work real hard, you know. Yeah. It's Coming from Sweden, we wanted to break out. We wanted to tour in UK and US and Germany, and we, we wanted to be like Deep Purple, you know. They were touring everywhere, and we saw these posters. Like, how do you do that? Oh, Europe's first taste of success came in 1982 when they won a local rock competition in Sweden. They beat out 2,000 other bands to win the prize. But their big breakthrough came in 1986 with the smash hit, The Final Countdown. The single sold 8 million copies and soared to the top of the charts in 26 countries. It was the band's ticket onto the international music stage. Those days were crazy, you know, it's uh, the whole rock and roll, dream. Five school guys on a field trip without any teachers, <laughs> yeah. I would say, you know, we just it was out of blast. It, it was it was a great time, you know. Going to all these big cities, you know, Paris, Tokyo, New York, whatever. And uh, just uh, having a great time. In 1991, Europe came out with the album Prisoners in Paradise, featuring the single Halfway to Heaven. It would be their last album for some time. In 1992, they split up to pursue solo projects. But they reunited 12 years later in 2004 to release the comeback album Start From The Dark. It sold 600,000 copies. Even during all those years apart, the band members knew they'd come together again. We all knew it was going to happen. Yeah. We did this uh, Millennium show you know, in, in Stockholm. Stockholm. Reunion show, 1999. The Millennium even. It was really sparks, sparks were flying, you know, it was, it was magic. And we knew we'd just have to finish some solo albums and then get back in the saddle, you know? The band has also released a picture book with photos from their tours. They launched the comeback tour in 2004, and they've been on the road ever since. We're going to finish oh, yeah. this uh, summer tour, um, and then after that we're going to start yeah. rehearsing, yeah, I think. Right. Yeah, rehearse and record the album, the next album. Then we go back on the road, do some festivals in 2012, and do some more indoor and uh, proper Europe tours. Those proper tours include some of their biggest hits, like the song Carrie. It's fantastic. Probably one of the best shows I've seen with Europe so far. They are still rocking on. It was the best show on earth. Europe, live on tour, proving they still belong to rock royalty. Rock royalty.